Okay, we have created a, an email account for Julia Lewis now in Thunderbird and we're gonna try to import her certificate, digital certificate inside Thunderbird. Thunderbird works slightly differently than Outlook. It has different certificate stores so it doesn't recognize, doesn't know how to read from uh, Outlooks. So to do that we need to export the certificate we obtained earlier. I already did the request same way as we did with Stephen Johnson. So to do that we have to open certificate manager.msc2 that shows all personal certificates and other certificates on this machine on the workstation. So under certificates you'll see Julia Lewis, right click, all tasks, export. We want to export the private key. We want to include all certificates and all extended properties. It's going to ask us for a password. I'm just going to put Julia. Click next. And the file name where you want to save it. So usually under documents would be okay. So I'm just going to override this file here. Yes. So Julia cert. You can name it whatever you want. Click next. Finish. And the certificate for Julia is now exported to us externally. Now from Thunderbird, I need to go to right-click Julia Lewis, go to settings, go to security, view the certificates, and I need to import that same certificate. So I have to go to documents, pick up Julia cert, click open. It's going to ask me for the password just once. Click OK. And it's going to say that you successfully recover the certificate. Make sure, I've never shown you this before, but make sure that when you go to authorities, your ACME, when you tried, when you edit the trust, make sure that has all three check marks there. Certificates can identify websites, can identify mail users, and can identify software makers. If you don't do this, you're going to have all sorts of messages and stuff, exceptions, and etc. So once that's done, Make sure that you have certificate there, click OK, and then click OK again. So now you are ready to communicate with, with Stephen. I'm going to go back to Stephen and send something to Julia. Or you can send an email from here straight for us. I'm just going to click right. Under security you have can encrypt the message. Yeah. So it says you need to set up one or more personal certificates, which we didn't do yet. So I'm going to go with that quickly. All I did so far is imported the certificate, but I need to select one. There's only one available. It's going to ask us, do you want to use the same one for encryption? I said yes. So you have both now here. And if I want to put required or never for to use encryption, I'm going to leave never for now. Click OK. I'm going to write something to Stephen, both encrypted and, and, and supplying digital signature. It says that he cannot find the, the certificate encryption for this message, but the application failed to find an encryption certificate. Click OK for the moment. We can easily bring uh, Stevens, you just need to do this one, Stevens, Stevens uh, public key inside Thunderbird. So to do that, you have to do the same thing for Steven. Export his certificate in a an location, so or USB here or something, where he can email it to you. And uh, because we have one of the same machines, I already have done that. So right click, settings, security, under view certificates, people certificates. So I'm going to import it. I've saved it on C drive, public keys, Stephen public. And click OK. So if I do this, I will be able to send message to him, no problem.
just gonna change this. And it goes without the print. If you go to send, it's gonna show the message. The only thing that we forgot to do, it's not encrypted. So we're gonna write again, Steven. And then make sure the security says it's both encrypted and you can see in the bottom the signs. Send. It sends without a problem. Remember, we never uh, left, we never gave Steven's private key to, to Julia. We only export his, his, his uh, public key. I'll show that to you next, how to do just that. And if I select the last message, you'll be able to see on the side that everything was sent with digital signature and it's encrypted as well. I'm going to very quickly go to Steven. Steven and he received the first one that we sent that was not encrypted but he received a, name, a message from Julia and we can verify her signature as well and from here I can send a new message to Julia which I just did that's the items that I did before, and I'm going to go quickly. Julia. In an inbox, I should have one message, and I can verify that this message came from who it came. So this is the SSL client certificate. And also from the encryption shows that view. This is all encrypted. So that's all.